Hi there, this is Minav once again and welcome to your favorite series Cool New Apps where all the application are just one month old and do something out of the box. Like always, all the download links will be in the description of this video. And with that being said, let's get started. Ever wanted to send an automatic reply on WhatsApp while you're doing your own thing? Whatever that is, well, thanks to application Can't Talk, now you can do that. So imagine if you're driving or if you're in a meeting or just binge watching your favorite show on Netflix, then you can set up this application to automatically reply to your SMS, call and yes, WhatsApp messages. To get it working, set up a custom message, choose the application you want to use it with. It supports call, SMS, but I'm more interested in WhatsApp reply and then toggle auto reply on. When someone will ping you on a selected application, it will automatically send out a text. Last time I tried, this application also supported auto reply on WhatsApp groups, which is mostly not a good thing. Thankfully, the developer has added an experimental feature to stop auto replies sent to group messages. Imagine this, your significant other always wishes you good morning or good night, but you're too lazy to reply back. I mean, yes, being nice is always a classy move, but we also live in the world of automation, right? So if you think in the same way, then autoresponder for WhatsApp is what you need. Like the previous application, it automatically replies to WhatsApp chat, but it also goes one step ahead. You open the application, enter the phrase whenever you want to get it trigger, like good morning or hi, etc. Next, type in the reply, the number of times you want to send it and specify the contact etc. And then tap on done. Now if you get a WhatsApp text matching the same keyword, then it will automatically send a reply. Pretty cool, right? Of course, it also supports extra features like pattern matching, multiple replies, reply with the current location, which all comes with a pro version. FilesGo is yet another file manager app from Google in a world where there is no shortage of file manager. So the question has to be asked, how is Google going to make any difference? And well, it does three things differently. Number one, Google FilesGo make it easier for the Android user to free up space. It can tell you how much storage you can get back from the application cache, unused applications and by deleting the large and downloaded files. Second, it helps you to quickly find files from categories like apps, images, videos and audio etc. And third, share files with other smartphones, even offline. FilesGo lets you discover the other devices via Bluetooth and then create a Wi-Fi hotspot to share the files. So here's how I or most of the other people hold their smartphone. The pinky fingers goes to the bottom with three fingers supporting the back and thumbs for the interaction. But as phones are getting bigger and bigger, it's hard to manage the smartphone with one hand. And as the name suggests, one hand mode lets you use your phone with one hand by moving the entire screen down to the smaller window. However, unlike the similar applications that are available on Google Play Store, this one doesn't require root access. Useful if you are traveling in a public transport and wants to use your phone without having to stretch your hand. And while most of the application does work with it, some applications like WhatsApp are not compatible with it. It will show you a large black screen between the status bar and the window, which doesn't matter in the functionality, but it looks odd. Overall, if you have a 5 inch phone or something bigger, then this application will shrink it down and once you are done, it will snap back to the normal. Data is the second application in this list from Google and assuming that you are on a limited data plan which you won't be if you are a Geo user but for rest of us where every megabits count then data is what you need. The application uses a VPN to track the data usage for each application. It tells you in the real time how much data an application is using at a given point and offers a simple interface that lets you quickly enable or disable the data uses on app by app basis. And say if you are running low on your data, then you can turn on the data saver which will block all the internet access from non-essential apps. Ever since Android Nougat has opened the possibility to customize the navigation bar, well now thanks to the application navbar animation, you can get exactly that on any smartphone. Simply launch this application and enable it using the toggle at the top right corner. 
to apply the animation, find the card you like and then tap on it and that's pretty much it. At this moment, the application has 18 categories like Batman, Wonder Woman, Khal Drogo. I like the Fash one though. Overall, this application is free and comes with several different animations to choose from, meaning you get 90 animations in total. However, most of the good ones are paid, so you will have to keep that in mind. While there are many tools out there that lets you watch Netflix together with your friends online, but most of them work only on your desktop. However, Rave is the first Android application that lets you do that on your smartphone. Once you open this application, you will see a bunch of options. You can either join other people and see what they are saying, or you can create your own little home theater. Rave not only supports Netflix, but it also supports YouTube, Reddit, Vimeo, and other file storage systems like Google Drive and Dropbox. And although this one is not the ideal use case, but you can use Rave to turn any situation into a party. Simply play a YouTube video with Rave and then the other device join in, it will sync the device to create a loud portable sound system. Pretty cool, right? Overall, this application is free and available for both Android and iOS. Android has much better notification system than iOS, but I never like the persistent notification. Say if you are using apps like Twilight or Join, then there will be notification that cannot be removed nor it can be disabled. So you have to put up with it taking the screen space on your notification tray. So far the only way to remove persistent notification is by using the Android application that require root access. But thanks to app called hide running in the background, well that's a generic name, now you can hide the persistent notification with one click. And yes, it doesn't require any root access. Simply open this application and give it notification permission and that's it. Yes, if you need notification from one specific application, then you can always create an exception. Overall, this application is free, open source and the best part is it's a one-time setup. Simply set it once and forget it. You don't have to open it each time. There are many design websites out there, but Canva is my favorite. In fact, I often use it for my social media and YouTube thumbnails. And guess what? They recently released an Android application. So say if you want to make a poster, thumbnail, infographics on the go on your Android smartphone, then there is no other image editing app that can come close to Canva. It is useful when you want to post a quote with text on it on your social media handles like Instagram, Facebook or even if you want to make a YouTube channel art invitation cards then you can find all the templates here in Canva. And let me tell you, all the templates are classy. You don't have to do anything, just edit them and you're good to go. And the best thing about Canva is the design, font and color combination. It's just perfect. So these were some of the noticeable Android app of this month. Let me know which are you going to try in the comment section below. And to get future updates of all our cool new app series, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon. So that's pretty much it. I will see you in the next one. Like always, thank you for watching.